morning, I'm Heather Abraham. Thanks for being with us on the start of a busy weekend. Not only is today Good Friday and the start of Easter weekend, it's also the start of Passover. It begins at sunset tonight. Sunday is also another day of note. Did you know it's April Fool's Day? I heard some people were going to listen to this. Wrap grapes in those little Easter egg trick. I'm telling you now, so you are forewarned. Just be careful out there. The 1st of April is also the start of Earth Month. Construction Junction is celebrating with a month of events, so weekend workshops, and a warehouse full of inspiration for all sorts of projects. The main goal is to keep items out of the landfill by repurposing or reusing them in new and creative ways. Construction Junction Executive Director Mike Gable is here to tell us about Earth Month events, and he's brought along a few examples of repurposed items. Good morning. Good morning. So, Mike, you have to tell me, I've heard of Earth Day, it's April 22nd, uh, but I've never heard of Earth Month. So what is this take on it? Well, we decided to go the whole month because we have too many activities to cram into a single day. So we decided we'd blow it out and make it Earth Month instead of Earth Day. Well, you told me something really funny, too, that some people say every day is, is Earth, Earth day. day. And when you're in the environmental <laughs> field, that's what you need to be saying. So. Absolutely. So a lot of stuff going on every single weekend through the month of April. What do you have planned? So we got a lot of feedback from our customers saying they would like to see more recycled landscape products. They would like to see us do more workshops and promote more local activities that are using reused materials. So we're kind of starting off our product mix with a variety of mulch that's made from recycled materials. Okay, and so what did you bring here? Um, so the first thing we have is we have a product called pit moss which is uh, potting soil that's actually made from recycled newspapers. Um, really neat. Does it, and it works just as it well? It works just as well. Um, they also have a, a peat moss substitute that's also made from recycled newspaper. Very cool. Um, over here we have uh, products from a company called Close the Loop and they make decorative mulch. This is actually uh, deleaded ground up television it's so glass, neat screen at, glass, yeah. um, and this is just ground up um, recycled bo uh, glass bottles, green, brown you bottles. You can see the color in there. Clear. And so um, in your workshops, how would you use a material like this in your landscaping? Well, you might use this for decorative highlights. You could put it in a small area up by your, by your doorway. You could actually also put it in a potted plant pot if we kind of jump over to the terrarium workshop that we're going to be having, you could actually use this material and in something like inside that. a terrarium. So it's good for outside and inside. All right, well, so let's, let's jump over to the terrarium since you just mentioned it. This is gorgeous. So are these materials all available at Construction Junction? So we, we don't carry plants, right. um, but this particular workshop will be conducted by Green Centers and they are going to walk people through Construction Junction. Um, you'll have an opportunity to purchase some of CJ's eclectic inventory, mm -hmm. and they're going to actually help you build a terrarium. It's beautiful. That won't exactly look like this, but, but will be as beautiful as that. It's gorgeous. And some of the other items that you brought here up front, what is this, this little guy? Okay, so this is a, a local artist, Ellie Groninger. Um, mm -hmm. she's, um, she has a studio called Crash and Burn. She's been at CJ before. She makes decorative sculptures, large and small, that can be outside or inside. And all of this material is uh, made out of filing cabinets. Wow. So she's cut, and, well, cut she, the pieces out of the, cut, deconstructed the file cabinet and used the metal to make these really neat, products. really great um, and, sculptures. And is this going to be part of a workshop where she'll teach people how to do this? Or? No, this will actually just be a pop-up shop where she will have her artwork available for sale at CJ. And this is really neat. This piece that you brought here, I'm going to lift this up so, we can, so the audience can see it. But tell us who, who designed this. So this is a project that we've launched at, at CJ um, called Studio Blue. And this is a furniture painting project that's a collaboration with a local artist, Jerry Florida, mm -hmm. and youth from Schumann Detention Center. Great. So the youth at the center, we donate furniture to them and they paint it that's un that's under the supervision of Jerry. That's really neat.
And so will these, this also be like a pop-up shop or a little yeah, display? This will be a display. You'll get mm -hmm. to see all of the work that um, the youth have done so far, and you'll have an opportunity to purchase it. So a, a lot of other interesting ha things happening all month long. I know that you have a compost, composting uh, class as well yes. and seedling giveaways. Can you talk yes. about those things? Um, so that's the, the <clears throat> Pittsburgh Redbud Project um, has a goal of planting 1,500 redbud trees in the city of Pittsburgh. Wow. Um, this will be the second year that they've done this project, and they're going to give away redbud tree seedlings at CJ over two weekends. Oh, that's great. And the composting, I know a lot of people are getting into that. There'll be a class to kind of walk you through the yes, process there to get will, started. Yes, there will. Pennsylvania Resources Council will be holding a composting class. Um, there will also be a rain barrel class for catching rainwater. Catching rain, rainwater off water. your roof. Yep. Um, and also, um, Shady Side Worms will be doing a class on vermicomposting. Interesting. All right. Well, there really is a lot going on. We had a whole list of events. We couldn't even get through them all. You can celebrate Earth Month. It can every weekend starting April 6th. We have this full schedule online. You can also stop in to see what's new at CJ. You'll find it in Point Breeze at 214 North Lexington Street.